Yo, what's up? Just showing off my 30 extra tall. It's my brackish tank. I just set up like psh, almost a year now. Since last year. I got some uh, monos. I had three monos and uh, five night gobies. When I first set this tank up. Dude told me the models only get about seven, eight inches max. So I was like, all right, cool, maybe a 30 extra tall would be cool for three of them. And I did some research down the line because uh, I was watching Tanked and I seen the, I seen them on there like full grown. I was like, what the hell? I did a little bit more research, shared that shit earlier. I found out they get to like 12 inches, so I don't know. I got to find a new place for them soon. Not too soon, but probably in a couple of years, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, within the next, I don't know. Depends on how big they get. But I had this set up. I got crushed coral in there. Got a piece of this driftwood. I usually change the water, you know. Uh, usually every week or every two weeks or whatever. Mix it in with salt and whatnot. I use, uh, I mix with instant ocean. I have three Aqua Clear 30s on there with just a sponge and a whole bunch of ceramics. Now I got a Eheim 300 the Jaeger. I got pushing this. And I got a what is it? A Maxi Jet 400 the circulation. I think it circulates like 400 gallons an hour or something. Gives it a nice little flow. Zoom in. You know, when I got them, there was way, I was like half, maybe quarter the size, maybe half their size or something, maybe. They got huge. Got some real nice color, those some of the, those are the gobies. They don't really, a couple of them come out, but the others high for some reason. Crushed coral, some snails. They said you could put some snails, some freshwater snails in brackish water. I tried it. Uh, I messed up when I did a water change and added too much salt. I killed them. But the goats ate them anyway, so. <laughs> there was some snacks for them. But the, the shells, they stayed in there mad long. I like fresh water. There's three of them right there. Another one's probably hiding in them holes. Monos got some real nice colors. I can't wait till they grow, but I really don't know what the hell to put them in. I was thinking about getting one of those uh, food grade drums or a big ass, but a big one I seen. It was like about like three feet across, by like maybe like four and a half feet tall. I know it holds at least a hundred gallons in there. I was thinking about getting it for them. So I got like a tank or something, I'm pretty sure it'd be like a hundred, you know, I don't know, probably a hundred dollars for that, but really good, you know, holding, holding tank for them for a while. So I get like a, I'm hoping to get like a 220, make it a salt water fish only, but live rock maybe, bare bottom, put them in there with some other salt water fish, because later on in their life they will need salt water. I'm thinking about moving out the gobies, put them in like a 15 gallon or something. Let them chill in there. I'm thinking about turning this tank into a discus tank. I'm gonna put two in there. That's it. I'm gonna plant it out with some. Uh, I'm gonna use some uh, some sea cam flu. Uh, what was it? Not flu. Fluorite substrate in there. Probably mix up some of that in there. I'm gonna just use Brazilian swords in there. That's it. Probably use my T5s on this. But that's the future. That's down the road. Probably. I don't know. Later on. <laughs> but yeah. Just showing my tank off. Did a water change. Just showing it off. Probably mix some salt up later on. 
throw some salt in there. Anyways, my little breakfast tank just wanted to show it off real quick. <laughs>